Hi guys, welcome to 5-Axis Maker Case Study Zero Part 6 Tutorial on Flow. Flow is a 5-Axis simultaneous strategy in Fusion 360. Before we dive into Flow setup, let's discuss how Flow differs from another cool 5-Axis strategy in Fusion, which is called Blend, which we've discussed in a previous video. We'll put a link in the description below. Flow and Blend are 5-Axis simultaneous strategies. They do a very similar job, but in slightly different ways. Blend is controlled by edges. It requires to select a surface and edges to generate a toolpath, where this flow requires a surface, direction of a toolpath, and a number of step over. So the biggest difference between flow and blend is that flow doesn't require clean edges. When deciding what strategy to use for a specific part of the model, we wanted for the toolpath to flow along the direction of the surface and not across. We split toolpath into front and back of the model into separate toolpaths. Another task was to make sure to align toolpath from front and back of the model. Um, features like front light break the perfect edge and is a good example for showing differences between blend and flow. Now let's try to generate blend toolpath. So select a surface, select edges and right there you can see that it has a problem generating the code and this is why we use here flow over blend and here's how we set it up to be able to see flow go to multi-axis and select flow now let's check the settings select your tool and start with conservative speeds the later you can dial in select surface it works with nerves doesn't work with mesh the red arrow is direction of the toolpath you set one can toggle the direction of the toolpath by clicking on the surface arrow Select your tool orientation, which will be the direction of the lead-in for the simultaneous strategy. To have a lead-in from the side, not top, refer to orientation and set model origin as origin. Pay attention to clearance planes. Since this is a 5-axis strategy, clearance planes aren't necessarily an x-y plane. What you should really pay attention to is the number of step over. And this is the number by what surface gets divided i.e. if you import 30, it will get divided into 30 paths. Make sure to switch on multi-axis. Now tilt angles is a really exciting feature of this strategy because you can adjust tilt of the tool along as well as perpendicular to the direction of the cart. All four parameters can be used both for improving quality of the cart and collision avoidance. The value for the tilt is inclination degrees from the surface normal. In this case, we use forward tilt of 10 degrees to improve the cut so that we are cutting with an edge of the tool instead of a tip. Shortest path, you can see it's keen over the model and short transition instead of retracting all the way back. Always use high feed, might only work for our type of machine. We found that this setting worked best for Fire Axis Maker. Now run through simulation because sometimes Fusion wouldn't show collision detection properly in multi axes. Um, another detail, this crease, well here we use avoid tool collision but you can see a little chomp and it didn't really show up neither during simulation nor during draft cut in a softer material because this cut is done in PU which is used to reproduce fine details the solution would be to adjust and refine the settings. Now let's look at another example when changing sideways tilt parameter can help us to improve the toolpath. Sideways tilt improves orientation and this is done to make sure toolpath fits the work envelope. We're very excited for new 5-axis strategies in Fusion 360. Those can be really powerful. This was our take on Fusion 360 flow. We'll look forward to seeing you soon.